What up guys and girls, it's Cody here and today we're gonna to be looking at a freaking awesome Android mobile phone. And my challenge to you is to guess the price prior to the end of the video where I tell you the price, but just listen to the specs, look at the features, look at the launchers it's got, look at the video quality, which I'm gonna be doing loads of samples, look at the gaming capability. We'll have a look at some of the Geekbench scores as well. Also have a look at the camera and what it's like to game on as well and just the overall features of this device. You'll be pretty much blown away and I guarantee you get the price wrong. So comment down below, do it in dollars or pounds or whatever you want to and guess what this price is. I bet you, you are way off. So let's have a look. First of all, what you get inside the box and then we'll have a look at some of the features. So let's go and have a look. So the phone is presented in a nice premium finished box, which I'm actually loving from the outset. So what actually do you get inside? Well, the first thing that you are going to see is obviously the phone. I do have it turned on. That's You won't receive yours turned on, but it will come in a plastic cover, which you take that straight off. And there you have the phone. The good thing about this, which you'll see in a moment, it does actually come shipped with a screen protector and also a case as well. So you can stop all these fingerprint marks in there, but I'll show you that in just a second. So we put the phone to one side. You will see another box in here. We'll open up this box and in here you are gonna get a clear silicon case, which perfectly fits your phone, obviously. And also you are gonna get a screen protector also. And in there you do get a two pin plug but you also do get an adapter for uk guys so you can plug that into the adapter boom or obviously we have loads of plugs laying around so you can simply plug the usb uh, into uh, straight into any other plug that you've got as well we do get the sim ejector tool and also as you do with iphone x's as well you get an adapter so you can use a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to usb c yes USB-C and uh, so that's pretty much everything you get in the box so let's further check out this gorgeous looking phone so here we have the front facing camera and it's boasting a 16 megapixel one I'm going to be showing you some footage of the camera and also the video from the front and rear facing cameras towards the end of the video on the back, we have a 12 megapixel plus five megapixel camera with an inbuilt LED flash and also the fingerprint sensor as well. On the right hand side of this beast of a phone, you're just gonna get the volume up, the volume down and the power on and off. Now this phone is solidly built and it only comes in at 176 grams with the non-removable battery. And the dimensions are 75 by 156 by 78 mil. So, you know, it's a high-end looking smartphone that's solidly built. With this launcher, you can obviously add widgets to your screen and also add transitions between your applications as well. Kind of like the barrel effects which we get on a jailbroken iOS device. So if we go into the about phone, you will see all the further details about this little beast of a phone, which you probably haven't guessed the price yet, comes shipped with the GOME um, OS, and that's version three at the moment, Android version 8.1 with six gigabyte internal RAM and 64 gigabyte internal storage with a 2246 by 1080 screen resolution which is going to make everything crisp and clear so if we go into the browsing the browsing is quick it's snappy we're looking at one of the best sites out there on the internet at the moment and also twitter is just a great user interface with great um, abilities and you can see here we've got youtube which if you just pinch and zoom you do get full screen and I have said before and I hope you managed to hear the audio on here but the audio is fantastic coming out of these speakers which I'll show you in a moment so 
So what is it like for gaming? How does it compare to the flagship phone? So let's pick a game which has got like intense graphics, good gameplay, and you know, it's just fun to play. So we just click through the menus, we'll click our Focus ST and we'll hit on play and we'll do some racing. So in three, in two, in one, let's see how awful I am at this game. But just check out the graphics, there is no lag on this. The colors are vibrant and the gameplay is just absolutely flawless. You're not getting any lag and I actually ended up being pretty bloody good at this game and I did come first but it's probably like only the second level I've ever done on this game and boom there we go so if we have a look at the Geekbench we've got a 912 single core and a 3733 multi-score now what does that actually mean actually means the phone isn't too bad let's see where it compares to other phones so you can see we're at the kind of Google Pixel one plus three and these are a lot more expensive phones and this is on the multi-core score as well we go into the single score doesn't fare as good but we're down there with the nexus 6 and the lexus uh, 5x as well so all in all it is pretty bloody good and you know i'm going to be telling you the price soon and you're still not going to have a clue over this because in a minute we're going to have a look at the camera and you're going to be like that is premium that is fantastic images show me some sample images which are coming towards the end of the video so within the camera, we do have this beauty mode, which I absolutely detest on all phones. Uh, people sometimes love it because it makes them look younger, but we also have loads of other customizable options in here. And you can have different scenes if you want, depending on what location you're in at the time of taking the image. So we've got anti-banding, we've got different resolutions, we've got different size images as well. So, I mean, just tend to leave everything as default. You, you've even got a time lapse feature and you can see how crisp and clean the actual image is coming straight from the rear camera. So you do have other options in there as well to add location to the metadata and the audio coming out of this is absolutely fantastic, which I'll also be showing you in a mo as well. But all in all, this camera, honestly, wait till you see the uh, examples and the samples at the end, it's fantastic. The only mode I don't think is that good is the portrait mode because it's software driven and can lead to some not so desirable effects. Um, but people do like these portrait modes. I don't use it even on my iPhone X. So you can see we'll just take a night shot because it's like not so dimly lit and you can see the actual sharpness of the Apple keyboard there. So everything is looking pretty bloody awesome. You do also have Google Lens inbuilt so it will scan the picture and then search for images on the internet as well. So if you want to use that for anything, uh, maybe to search for replacements of the keyboard or pff, I don't know, I, I've got no real use for it. So out in this sun, how does the camera perform? It performs very well. Normally with the lower end cameras, you're gonna get a lot of glare on the screen, but with this, you're not at all. It really does keep the clarity, the sharpness, and the brightness. It stands out. It's a fantastic phone. And honestly, in direct sunlight, there is no problem. This is direct sunlight, and you can see that the clear, crisp screen is there you can have no dramas reading it and remember this is a budget phone it's absolutely crazy so what we do now we're going to go and have a look at some sample images and video from this camera and then i'll let you know how much it is so if you wanted to use this for like live streams uploading youtube videos then this is the quality you're going to get from the front facing camera and you know what it's actually not too bad you can touch the screen for spot focusing but really you just obviously it's going to be aimed at the center focus point of the screen which is obviously going to be your face because obviously your arm's only so long and you can't have it like really far away. So it's just gonna focus around here. There is also a beautify effect, but I steer clear from that, it looks too false. The audio is pretty decent from here. We're gonna show you some videos of the actual rear facing camera as well and the quality that you're gonna get. You're gonna see some good dynamic range in the highlights and the shadows as well and it's good contrasty, crispy, clean images coming from this camera. Remember, this is a budget camera. Have you guessed the price of this yet? Because it is coming up very soon and you are gonna be absolutely blown away when you realize how much this is. <laughs> 